Hey, welcome back to the Here's the Deal channel. Here's the deal, the last three words before they unleash the tyrannical hounds of hell upon you. Give me a five by five if you can hear me and we will get started. Right, the system is here. Sensor tube, NZ Kiwi, Jimbo. Thank you guys for being here. I'm gonna ask a couple questions and then I'm gonna introduce you to a channel that I was just introduced to last night. I can't believe it. I've been on the internet for 10 years now little over 10 years, and I have not heard of this channel. It is literally a treasure trove in a gold mine. A gold mine. A gold mine. That's gold mined too. It's a gold mine on how to just simply exercise your rights, and anybody can do it. You don't even have to know how to speak to exercise your rights like that. This is how good this guy is. So I'm going to get, okay, so we got a five by five. Awesome. I appreciate you guys being here. I also want to start this video with this, you know, Might's Law from Might342 as a moderator of I Am Free to Go or Am I Free to Go. It is the longer a conversation drags on between members of the public exercising their rights and cops looking to trample those rights, the probability of those officers accusing you of terrorism to justify their attempt to violate those rights increases exponentially. Now, what I like about this is that it articulates something that we all already know and have already seen. We've seen that the longer you engage in a conversation with cops, the worse it goes for you because they are just looking, they're on a fishing expedition to compile data, to paint you in the worst light possible so they can remove you from their presence as you try to exercise the rights that they swore to protect and defend. Now, the YouTube channel that I had not heard of until last night is Bunny Boots Inc., Put a, put a one in the room if you've heard of Bunny Boots. And the way I heard about this was I was reading some comments last night under my video and somebody mentioned, hey, this is as good as Bunny Boots. And I was like, Bunny Boots? I've never, I've never even heard of that. So I typed it in and I just started binge watching some of this guy's videos. And I got to tell you, it's not only impressive, but on a psychological level, it is interesting to see what happens in the mind of a human being Especially, I, this may be for all human beings, but especially human beings who are bent on being authoritarians, wanting to make you engage in a conversation with you, but they're kind of neutered at that point because they can't actually make you speak and they can't stand it. And we're going to look at some of ex some examples. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to share this with you guys in a live stream and we can just kind of enjoy this together. This first one, Law, law enforcement officers will become involved in this, but first it is a security guard for a military installation. Let me, let me play this for you. Watch this guy. Watch how he cannot, absolutely cannot help himself. He's got to say something. And there's a word for that. I don't know if you guys knew. I, I'll, I, I just familiarized myself with a term called sedataphobia. It is the fear of silence. So let's watch some of this. See if he exhibits signs of sedataphobia. Do you have some ID? Do you have some ID? You know you're on federal property taking pictures? Oh, so you're one of those people that don't answer questions? <laughs> we can stand here all day. I like being on video. So you having fun? Oh, you're like a non-verbal person. Okay. So what are you doing for the fourth? <laughs> I'm not intimidated by the camera. So you're one of those people. So you have nothing better to do with your time? You're just strange for no reason, huh? Have you been smoking? How about drinking? No? Interesting. It is interesting. So how much did your camera cost? I like the head unit. Where'd you get it? eBay? 
No? How about uh, Circuit City? I can talk to you all day, man. It doesn't bother Now, I'm not above anybody, okay? I'm a human being just like everybody. And I got to admit, to, uh, to some degree, on some level, I experience sedatophobia. You know, like if you're in an elevator, I like to say hi to people in the elevator. It's like, hey, I'll be your fellow elevator passenger this evening. You know, try to, you know, break the ice. Now, for the most part, people will talk to you. But sometimes people will just ignore you. And it does kind of get into your mind. It's like, hey, uh, everything going okay today? And you become a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm not sliding this guy for being uncomfortable about a guy being silent. But I think it's interesting from the authoritarian perspective where he's already given a veiled threat. Hey, you know you're on federal pro property. Well, what is that supposed to mean other than you're trying to get me, you're trying to imply that I'm doing something wrong. So he's already crossed the line. He crossed the line in his first two sentences in dealing with this guy. Now he's going to show how extremely uncomfortable he is that the guy won't engage in a conversation with him. And to the point where they call men and a woman with guns, i.e. law enforcement, and then they start getting a little uncomfortable. Other me. You are a strange individual. <laughs> yeah. He's the strange Why one. Why take pictures over there? That's what you're taking pictures of, but you just like me. I'm like kind of camera, I guess. What, what's the word? Mm. So you don't have any ID. You're not going to provide ID. So when the police get here, you're not going to give them ID either? You know you're required to have ID, right? You're a strange dude. So let me guess, you got a blog, right? <laughs> what blog do you have? He says, what's the website? You're not going to tell me that either? You're just one of those passive uh, defined type people, huh? Doesn't bother me. Passive defined. I can do this all day. So he's implying that the cameraman who won't talk to him is being defiant. Defiant of what? Well, the implication is defiant of authority of a federal employee, a federal security guard. Don't worry, the cops are coming in a couple minutes. Just stay tuned. That's what they pay me for. We're doing a picture of the plane. Might be a VIP. Usually that plane carries a VIP. Man, that plane is loud. Yeah, please hit that like button, guys. I appreciate it. Let's see if we can get over 100 likes, maybe 200. Not going to answer that question either? Damn. Stay tuned, guys. We got more coming up. This is, it's just getting good. Are you a U.S. citizen? Not going to answer that one either. Are you Probably. a U.S. citizen? What'd you have for breakfast? <laughs> Do you eat McDonald's? Or is... McDonald's a corporate thing and you're anti-corporate too? Are you anti-government? Do you vote? Are you anti-government? Do you drink? Do you breathe air? How about that one? <laughs> Are you an Autobot machine? Are you from another or from the future? See what other questions can I come up with? Let's see what other questions. Got your walking stick. Pretty nice walking stick. Hmm, did you build it? What's up, Far Lap? What's up, News Now? Looks like you probably bought it. Did you build it? Can you nod, yes or no? I saw Bolo on you. I think you're the guy that's been going out taking pictures all of you. Oh, there we go. Bolo, be on the lookout. Free world. Implying that he's a criminal. Picture anything classified. Take stuff, pictures of stuff that's classified. Then gotta get confiscated. You know how that works, right? If you take a picture of something that's classified, then you gotta get confiscated. You know how that works, right? There's these, these veiled nice guy threats that are still 
threats. They're still authoritarian threats, and he's actually in ver- verbally waging war against a man's right to exercise his Fifth Amendment right. I mean, this guy is classic. He doesn't say anything, and he he gives this guy. It's almost like. He's given this guy verbal rope to just hang himself and reveal who he is. The fangs continue to come out. The claws continue to retract. You're just an odd individual. Got any sisters and brothers? Or do you play by yourself all the time? Do you play by yourself? I love what Kansas City Bob said in the chat room. Best bunny boots video ever. The guy tried everything to break him. Insults, threats, friendly conversation, but he was up against the king of silence. Um, No one talk about McDonald's. Don't talk about alcohol. (laughs) Somebody said, why do cops waste time with these a-holes? You're an a-hole because you get a video camera, walk out on a public sidewalk and start filming a public facility, a publicly funded facility. How is that being an a-hole? Like my definition of a-hole is a little bit different. It's somebody who's willing to threaten you and initiate unjust force and violence against you and violate your consent. That would be the definition of an a-hole. Not somebody who's standing there minding his own business, not welcoming any kind of conversation or anything. That's not an a-hole, in my estimation. Drink, or you may be smoke, you don't, someone say, do you eat? You won't say if you eat. You live in Anchorage, you won't say if you live in Anchorage. You won't tell me if you're alien or not. Mm. Do you like ice cream? Nah, apparently I don't like ice cream. And I haven't been on, on the video in a long time. Can I get a copy? Or the website so I can go watch it. Come on, man. Just give me something. He's just warming up. He He's must just be warming really up, forward. guys. Stay tuned. Walk around just videotaping and not talk. So are we live now on the internet? Come on, man. Give me the website so I can go look. I got an iPhone. What's the website? Come on, man. Tell me. I'll go look. Come on. What's the website? Wow. Farlap Moves just gifted five Here's the Deal memberships. Who's picking those up? URC got one. Mara got one. Austin Murphy got one. Russell got one. And Rats to the Moon got one. Rats to the Moon. Rats to the Moon. Rats to the Moon. I know you from somewhere. Rats to the Moon. Oh, yeah, yeah. From from that other live stream. Oh, yeah. That was, that was an interesting live stream. Come on, man. I know you have a website. I can see you. Don't think I can't see you. I can still see you. What's your website? Come on. Does anybody know, because I'm not familiar, does Bunny Boots Inc. wear a mask? Because if you were going to wear a mask to hide your identity, this would be the time to do it. Not when when there's a planned, organized, partial shutdown of the U.S. economy going on. Uh, What's that other thing? They got another one, don't they? Other than Twitter. What's it called? Mm, I don't know. I don't keep up with that crap. So they're not going to give me the website. I guess I have to wait to read about it. I told you, man, I can go all day. I get, let's say I'm going to be here for another five, six, seven hours. I stay right here all day. That, this is why I wanted to go live because you guys come up with some really good comments. Mokel Bauer says a-holes are the ones that harass people for expressing their freedoms. How can you, how can an American who truly loves and relishes the freedoms that we have, and they are, they are not freedoms because they're articulated in the constitution guys. I've said this before and I'll continue to say it till I'm blue in the face. 
I echo what Lysander Spooner said, whether the Constitution be one thing or another, this much is certain. It's either authorized such a tyrannical government as we have, or it's been powerless to stop it. In either case, it's unfit to exist. It's just a piece of paper. It offers you no protection. There's no barrier. There's no security. It grants you no freedom. It just articulates the freedoms that you have, but the psychopathic power trippers who are in positions of authority don't have a problem violating those freedoms at will, arbitrarily, anytime they want. So what good is having a constitution if the people who are in power ignore it, deny it, reject it wholesale? I get paid. Are you getting paid to stay here? Or are you independently wealthy? You must be independently wealthy. Got to be. you either independently wealthy or you in, you're probably inheriting a bunch of money. So you got nothing better to do. Come on, man. Tell me so I know how to get the same type of money you got. So I don't have to work Unless this is a real job. <laughs> he can't shut up. It's a real job? Nope. Mm. Guys, believe it. We're 10 minutes into this. He's just warming up. And then he's going to add two more law enforcers to this. He's He still keeps going. Right, Somehow, keep some way. Mm. Man, I guess we... Want me to go get you a chair? I can go get you a chair. Unless you're comfortable sitting on your stick. You got a seat on get some Mountain Dew and then I'll come back and I could probably talk for another two or three minutes. Nah, probably about more like 20. So if I go away, are you going to leave? No. You're just doing this because you got that better. I got newspaper. You want to read a newspaper while you're sitting there? You know, you know what I think is funny? Psychologically, if you understand just a, a little bit about psychology, when somebody says, man, you got wrecked, you got destroyed in that debate, instead of somebody just rationally going, you know what, Here, here's what I understand you saying, and here's what I understand the other party saying, and I I tend to lean toward what the other party's saying, and here's why. Instead, they, they pull out these backdoor ad hominems. You got destroyed. It's so, it's very childish. It's very immature. And I, I like, on one end, I like the psychological nature of that. On the other end, it's very telling how we are, this is, this is one of the reasons we are on such a collision course in America because nobody, nobody has, well, not nobody, a lot of people have the inability to critically think and then to logically articulate in a mature fashion about what they have seen. And, and when somebody goes, you got destroyed, you know what that tells me? Cult of personality, cult of personality. It's like, you know what, this, this debate or this conversation was so important, but we couldn't get off of square one of, is it ever right ever for anybody to initiate unjust force and violence on peaceful people who haven't done anything wrong? And I'm, I'm specifically focusing on a particular comment that was left in the chat, but I, I think it's crazy that somebody during the course of the uh, debate would interrupt like crazy, launch ad hominems against somebody that has nothing to do with the debate. And I do not see how anybody could progress in our human experience by taking that road and following that trajectory. That's just me. If you guys disagree, you know, put a two, put a two in the comment section. If you disagree and put why you disagree. Is name calling really, is it really mature to call names? Is it appropriate to do that during a debate or a conversation? Is it, is it, um, is it, uh, advantageous to interrupt? Is it, does it help humanity in our progression toward knowledge and understanding and human compassion and the, the, pu the, the pushing back of the tides of tyranny to launch all these ad hominems and say somebody got destroyed during a debate? I've seen people that I viewed as soundly 
you know, it's not even so much losing. It's like, yeah, I think, I think this argument was more logical and a little bit more watertight than yours. I see where you're coming from, but I disagree with that. And I'm more apt to agree with this person. You know, it's almost like there's this proverb that says the first person to present his case seems right until another one comes forward and questions him. Cause when you're having a conversation, it's kind of hard to think of all the angles unless you really know what you believe. And what I know that I believe is it's never right to violate the consent of another person. And that is what government, that's what politicians, that's what law enforcement officers specialize in. And then they hypocritically say that anybody who violates the consent of another person is a criminal when they're actually engaged in the exact same criminal activity that they claim to contend, uh, the condemn. So being a government official, being a politician, being a law enforcer is inherently inconsistent and hypocritical, illogical, and unreasonable. And I personally think we can build a society that's based on free association. You don't need to force people to do anything. If you have a better idea, that's what's going to rise to the top. You don't have to enforce that idea. Cup of coffee. If you disagree, put it, put it two in the room. I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly willing to open myself up, um, to, you know, an alternate view. Absolutely. That's how, that's how you grow. You cannot afford, I can't afford, you can't afford to lock yourself in an echo chamber. Yeah. Somebody gifted a membership and that somebody was, um, Farlap, Farlap gifted memberships to five people. Thank you so much. Farlap moves. Appreciate that. All right, let's get back to this. Thank you guys for listening to my little mini rant there. No coffee? Soda. Which one do you want? Coke? Dr. Pepper? Sprite? I prefer Mountain Dew personally. I'm just like a stone. I'll give you credit. Because most people by now would have him say something. But I'll give you credit. You're pretty good at it. <laughs> He's very at good at it. At some point you're gonna break. Some point you're gonna break, man. You got to say something. You got to call your buddy. He's got to say something. You're gonna break sooner or later. May not, maybe not to me, but you're gonna break. You're gonna say something. You just can't sit there all day. I bet you can't go a whole day without talking. <laughs> I'm gonna make a wager. I'm here five days a week. Dollar says you can't go a whole day without talking. And see how will I know? Because what I'll do is I'll give you my little camera to videotape you. Okay? So what happens is if you talk anytime during the time you got my little camera, you owe me a dollar. Okay, so I, I want to go back to the original quote that Bunny Boots uh, put on the screen before this because this is where it comes into play because now the law enforcers are going to come in. The longer a conversation drags on between members of the public exercising the rights and cops looking to trample those rights, the probability of these officers accusing you of terrorism, and it almost always happens to justify their attempt to violate those rights, increases exponentially. Let's listen to this. Here's where the female cop comes on the scene. Having fun yet? Me? Yeah. Oh my Get out of trouble? Just like videotape. Okay. He won't give me the ID. He won't identify himself. I mean, you know, basically, technically, he can take pictures, but you know, when you start taking pictures of secure facilities and stuff, it kind of makes you wonder because of 9/11, and now we're going and we're in Ramadan, and he don't look like he's Al Qaeda or ISIL, but we don't know. But he won't talk. I've been trying to talk to him for like the last 15 minutes. That is the suggestion that you may be involved in some kind of terrorist activity. And this security guard already suggested that he's on a bolo, be on the lookout for a particular criminal. Just because the guy's out there exercising his First Amendment right and has invoked his Fifth Amendment right. Do you have ID on you? He's gonna do the, pa he's gonna do the passive aggressive oh, thing where he's not gonna right. provide ID or anything. Yeah, so. okay. Why would, 
why would you as a law enforcement officer who's supposed to be an oath keeper, not an oath breaker, make any attempt to make someone insecure in their person? If you think about it logically and you think about what their job is supposed to be to protect and serve, to protect and serve what people and their rights, why would you go out for no reason? This is for no reason at all. As a matter of fact, this is for less than no reason because this guy isn't just, you know, doing whatever he's actually exercising something that is not only constitutionally protected. Not only did she, uh, swear that she would protect that particular right. Not only did the Supreme court actually say, yeah, you, you have this right. You can record in public. You cannot trans uh, trespass the eyes, whatever your eyes can see, your camera can record. This person is exercising a natural right and an unalienable God given non-government permitted right. He is absolutely in the right. And she is as, as, as little as people think about the request for your ID, it is an attempt to pry you away from, from your anonymity. And anybody who's making that attempt is your enemy. If you disagree, put a, put a two in the room, but that is very important. I think we all need to sensitize ourselves to the fact that this is super freaking egregious for any human being to ask another human being to relinquish their identity. You know, especially when they swore to protect that identity. It's pretty simple. I mean, he's not really trespassing. Not but, really. Because we got what are we in Bravo uh, right now. So <laughs> I'm not real comfortable with him videotaping. It's probably the same guy. There was a bolo that came out a while back about a guy that's going around videotaping. There goes the threats. Threats are just wild and free now. Wild and free. The stuff, I don't know if you guys got it. There was a, you probably did. Yeah. There's videotaping all the stuff. You know, I tried to get him to tell me if he has a website. He probably does. We may be even live right now. I really, not that big a deal. Uh, <laughs> it's a huge he's deal. Passive aggressive. So, it's a huge deal. That's why he keeps mentioning it. Here, I'll okay, hold on. All right. She's going to get her male buddy officer, and he's going to come. Watch, this guy is going to be putting the gloves on as he approaches. Another visual attempt at intimidation. Watch this. Here goes the gloves. Gloves. You know what gloves mean. Would that be it? Possibly. Hey, what's yeah. going on, boss? I'm Officer Hernandez, APD. How are you? <laughs> is there any reason why you're not talking to me? He just, he just walked up. He didn't even give him... A, a chance to talk or not to talk. This is so freaking bizarre. Is there any reason? Like this is what's been going on. Okay. Is there, any, Brandon? is there any reason why you're not telling us your name? Sir? I mean, I, I understand that you're having uh, a video camera out and you're recording stuff, but I'm treating you with respect here and asking you who I'm talking to. I'm Officer Hernandez with the Anchorage Police Department. This is Officer Mercer with APD. And these are a couple of gentlemen here that work for the federal police. Is there any reason why you're not responding to us? <laughs> they can't stand it. We've seen this guy before probably. Okay. Uh, this is the bolo. This is the be on the lookout for right there. He's got in his hand. They're, lo they're looking at his face and comparing it with the face that's generated on this paper right here. Hey, would you want to take your glasses off for us? <laughs> you mind oh, yeah. if I take them off so I can look at your eyes? <laughs> You mind if I take them off? Sir, is there any reason why you're not? I don't you can kind of see through there. Yeah, I don't think. No. So is there any reason why you're out and about filming the FAA building? Let me tell you what's really scary about this. Now they can actually declare you psychologically incompetent and hold you on a 72 hour hold uh, for, for reasons. They can literally do that. 
They can violate your fourth amendment right to be secure in your person. They can violate your first amendment right to freedom of press. They can violate your fifth amendment right to, um, you know, invoke it to be silent. And they can actually declare you, Hey, this, this might be a psych patient patient. We might need to put him under observation for 72 hours. They could do that and have done that. Probably more like because we have one of a similar looking like him. But we have this is looks more like him than this guy does. But it came out about a month ago, six weeks ago. So I mean, I've been talking to you for about 20 minutes, man. Is there a reason why, if you're trying to get famous or whatever, <laughs> you already had your time? I mean, what what more do you want? I mean, you took pictures, but at some point, you know. Enough's enough. I mean, what, what do you want us to do, man? I mean, we can go away, but at some point you're going, you know, you're going to get to to a situation where you're going to be asked to leave, and then you're trespassing, and then and when you get trespassing, that means you can go to jail. Do you really want to go that route? Trespassed from clearly being on a public sidewalk filming a public facility, not engaging in conversation with public employees. That is a threat of force. That is a threat to violate constitutionally protected American rights that all these people put their fricking hands on a Bible, raised their hands toward heaven and swore to God they would protect. That's, this is the utmost in hypocrisy. We cannot tolerate this kind of stuff in America anymore. Not one, not one nanoparticle of this kind of tyranny. Nothing. It's not really worth that. So, I mean, you've been here 15, 20 minutes taking pictures. At this point, all you're doing is taking pictures of the entrance. You've taken pictures of us. We're all on video. We'll be on the YouTube. You pretty much got your fame for today. How about walking away, man, and just go, go take some pictures somewhere else? I mean, really, I mean, because you've done all you can do here today. I mean, you've got all the pictures. I mean, there's Elmendorf down there. You've got pictures of that already. How about taking a break, going home and seeing what you got on your video, work it up on your on your website and do what you got to do. Come back another day. He's got to get corrected. I mean, because I'm sure you get thirsty, get tired. <laughs> Sitting on that stick can't be comfortable. So, I mean, what, what's your end point? What are you looking for, man? You've got everything. This is so freaking classic. You've got officers on video. We're being nice to you. We're not going to body slam me, throw you to the ground and beat you up so you can go on YouTube, whatever you're trying to get accomplished. That's not going to happen. So, what more do you want? I don't know sign language. You want to write something down? I got a pad. You want to write since you're not going to talk? Because you definitely understand what we're saying because I can see it in your face, in your eyes, that you understand what we're saying. So, we're not going to stand here all day. They got work to do. I got work to do. They got other priority calls. However, once you cross a certain line, sir, I don't have a choice but to have you go away. You can see this is like federal property. So, I mean, I give you a lot of leeway, but at some point, you, you're going to have to make a decision. Do you really want to go to jail or do you want to just take your pictures and go away? Because at this point, you there you go. Another threat. And don't tell me this is a good guy. All right. Maybe he's a little uncomfortable with silence. He, I don't, I, I, I should have counted the number of threats veiled and otherwise you're going to go to, you're threatening to lock a man up. Think about the gravity of this. You're threatening to lock an American up who's standing on American soil in a public place, doing what even the Supreme court says he can do, doing what the constitution says he can do, standing before law enforcement officers who said they'd uphold the constitution and they're threatening to take away all of his freedoms by throwing him into a cage where he has the high likelihood of being abused by the people who are the inmates in there that might be real criminals. This is, this is a threat on a man's life. And if he could lose his job for this livelihood. And again, I mean, we cannot tolerate one iota of this ever anywhere in America ever again, ever. Not taking anything that's classified. You're just doing what you do for before your website or whatever you're doing. So how about doing this a favor and go take some pictures. Or come, you know what? Come back tomorrow and take some pictures if you want to. You know? I mean, how, how nice is that? 
Because like I said, at this point, whatever you're taking pictures of right here, this is not the secure stuff. So I mean, basically, uh, how it does what it You can go on the website. Matter of fact, I'm bringing it up for you right now. On Google Map, you can see this exact facility. So seeing the outside of it is not that big a deal. However, at some point, the SPs are going to get a little irritated because, like I said, it's federal property. It's military installation. We got classified stuff here. They got classified. But you're outside the gate. So really, man, you pretty much got a free walk to a certain extent. You know, this is so crazy. William Babbitt has, just in this week alone, gifted no less than, God, what, what is it, like 30, 40 memberships to people in the community ex bootlicker picked one up. he just did five more ex bootlicker picked one up gray dude got a membership uh courtesy of william babbitt william mccomb rockport rights enthusiasts got one and dan Britt have all become members thanks to william babbitt give hats off to william thank you william farlap gifts five more memberships uh joco got one joco kansas cop watch Shockproof got one, Chainsaw Cat, Dale W, and Janice Kowalski got one, and also Farmer. You guys were all gifted a membership. Hats off and thank you to Farlap and to William Babbitt. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. You got better things to do. I'm sure you do. Come on, man. Go home and play with the video. Sly Shy 420 got one. Hey, what's up? What's up, Shy Shy? Video. Matter of fact, I even asked for your website. I'll go even check it out. Now, it's like I said, I still bet you a dollar you can't go a whole day without talking. I'll give you a little camera and I'll, and I'll test you. I'll watch you on camera like you're watching me. And if you talk, and, that, and within that day, you owe me a dollar fifty. All right, guys, let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, hey. Hi, right, man. We have fun. Have a good day. Okay, so they walk away the most power. Isn't it? Isn't it crazy? Isn't it strange? Isn't it ironic that the most powerful thing that you can do when you stand toe to toe with people who have a tyrannical mindset is to do nothing, is to say nothing, is to just be silent. Silence that's so deafening, it gets into their brains and literally appears to drive them crazy. Uh, put a one in the room if you want me to continue on with this. I do. I did want to show you this next one. Oh, was it that one? Because I haven't seen that one yet. Let's see. I have not seen this whole one yet. I fast forwarded to where there's engagement, but I don't know. This isn't the one that I saw. I, I binge watched about four of them last night, four or five of them. And this wasn't one of them, but put a one in the room if you want me to keep going. Apparently Rogue Nation did a, it looks like he did a video on, Bunny Boots Inc. about six months ago. Rogue Nation is one of the first ones. He and somebody else, who was it? It was Rogue Nation and somebody else who did the silent treatment on a female officer. Does anybody know which one that I'm talking about there? They did the silent treatment on a female officer and she similarly uh, had her own melt, uh, mental breakdown. So let's let's look at this one that R Rogue Nation was involved in. And then we'll come back to Bunny Boots Inc. This guy's coming out with a shotgun. What Hello? the? What, what the frick? Hey, what? sir. Hello. Here. Hey, there's no filming in the state institution, please, sir. Whoa, <coughs> this is intense, man. Sir. Hello. Do you understand? Hey. <laughs> Go ahead and notify Berkeley County, please. <coughs> Correction, this is Rogue Nation's channel. I don't know if this is, I don't, I think he, I don't know if he's covering this or if this is actually Rogue Nation doing this. Does anybody know? Also, I need the duty warden phone out here, please. You can pay me Major. Sir, Major, I got it. Watch out for the wire. <coughs> Bill Wrightson just became a member. Welcome, Bill. Thank you. That's who it was. It was it was Rogue Nation and Frickin' Media. And it was hilarious 
because not only are they given the silent treatment to the cop, but they're speaking among themselves. I can't remember what it was like. I can't remember what it was, but it was something just, you know, making small talk among themselves. Like she didn't even exist and she couldn't stand it. I'm going to try to find it. Look at this guy. <laughs> So you are aware of the sign right out the front. There you go, Westminster. on state property he's right on the road but he's filming into the institution you notice when they say that he's not technically on state property how about he's not on state property at all there's no don't add technically to it as though i don't know it's a gray issue he could be and he couldn't be just so being so disingenuous no he's uh he's refusing to say anything he just has a mask with a big uh, middle finger up Yes, sir. All right, we're going to talk, take a little break. This comes from the Johnny Five O channel. And I'll try to give credit where credit is to do. So you guys help me out. Let me know who the auditors are who give the silent treatment to this female ponytail cop. Let me see. Let me make sure it's in frame here. Oops. I just hit the wrong button. Okay. Yeah. You guys let me know who this is. Let me scoot over here. All right. Yeah. We need to yeah. do some footage over there at uh, Adams County headquarters. Anyway, so <laughs> I think we're going to be staying here next today. Good Anytime I need a lot. I think Saturday. You're Saturday not going to talk to me or anything? I think Saturday is one for next day. Are you going to, are you going to, are you going to court on Friday? Can you have security? Uh, I still have to do that gentlemen. one day for the computer stuff. We'll see. Excuse me, gentlemen. Okay. Well, trying to have a conversation with you and to be the correct, polite person would be to talk back to me. It's going to be... Yep, still here. Probably. You guys can please just say hello. <laughs> she can't. <laughs> like I said, it's but a polite thing how to far, do. How far is that from here? Trying to talk to you, trying to just ask um, what's going on, how your day is, but you don't even want to answer any of my questions. 20 minutes to 25 minutes. Gentlemen, how are you? Can you please answer my questions and just say hello back? That's all I'm asking. 1705. Okay. So you guys told them what we were doing here is constitutionally protected and they can kick rocks? Okay, cool. Thanks for doing your job. Yeah, I don't care. No, 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 no. Just stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. No directives. Shh. Be quiet. Be quiet. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Jesus Christ. 
Let me guess, you're single. And you know, maybe a year or two ago, I'd be like, come on, that's so rude. Don't do this to these cops, man. They will throw you down before. As soon as they call for backup, they get emboldened and bad things start happening a lot, a large percentage of the time. So I don't feel sorry for the cops when they get talked to, when they get, you know, disrespected because it's not a resp- taking away rights is not a respectable profession ever. Uh, yeah, Larry, the cable guy's not here. So. How's it going, gentlemen? What's going on? How's it going? Just going to walk right past me? Yeah. Now, notice that the cameraman had to go off the sidewalk into the grass because the sidewalk was being blocked by authoritarians. If you were blocking the sidewalk, you know what would happen to you. Zero three three UGR. All right, so let's get back to we're gonna get back to uh, gonna get back to Bunny Boots here. This is another interaction with Bunny Boots outside of Lackland Air Force Base. They just can't stand that he is out there filming in public. It's a really weird thing. You would think that they would just pass by and go, oh yeah, it's a guy filming in public. Wave, honk your horn, more power to you. Welcome to America. No, they got to get out. They got to mess with you. They got to harass you. They got to thre- They got to threaten you. Steven Sanders drops a 999 super chat and say, hey, did you see that clip? Thanks for sending people over last night. Uh, yeah, I did a video on it. It was my last video release. If you haven't subscribed to Steven Sanders and you haven't seen the video, take a look at my last video. The links are in the description of that video. This is the DeLand Deland Police Department in Florida. And another example of where they treat people standing on their individual rights, unalienable rights, constitutionally protected rights. They get abused and treated as criminals while the person who actually committed a crime on camera on police surveillance camera in the police department because this guy put his hands on property and damaged this guy, um, Steve Sanders' property. There's Steve Sanders right here. Seriously, give him a follow. Uh, uh, There's 800 people in here right now. What if just 400 of us increased his subscriber rate and took him past 4,000 subscribers? He's at 3,400 subscribers now. What if we take him past 4,000 subscribers in this live stream alone. Here's the link right here. Let's all go over there right now. Give him some love because he's, he's promising that he's going to do a follow-up on this video right here where the cops treated him, the cameraman, the constitutionally protected rights guy, Steve Sanders treated him as a criminal, but treated this guy right here with kid gloves. Oorah. It's truly disgusting. This video is another example where it highlights the disdain cops have for even people who are, you know, this guy's, this guy's kind of got a rap sheet. So he ain't like an upstanding member of society by any stretch of the imagination, but the cops hate people practicing their rights so bad that even with evidence on camera, they'll abuse the guy who absolutely did nothing wrong while they coddled the guy who did do wrong. So that's Steve Sanders. Again, I'm going to, I'm going to put the link, the link that I'm putting in the chat room right now. John Eagle says, just subbed, just subbed to his channel. Already subbed, going over there now, says Dale. South Bama says, done. All right, man. And <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll, I'll refresh this page. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that. Can you even see this? Yeah, here's, here's the sub count right here. I'll refresh this page in a couple minutes. We'll revisit it. And see if uh, we can increase his subscriber base. And then when you go over there, maybe watch some of his most popular videos. Give him some support. Because we definitely, I, I think he's going to be a, one of those good auditors who actually cares about our rights. So let's go back to Bunny Boots here. Thank you guys. I appreciate your help. None of us is greater than all of us. Okay, sir. Afternoon, sir. 
How can we help you? We get a call from the military saying that you're being suspicious filming over here. You okay? Okay. You're not. Just walking away, it's hilarious. <laughs> You're under no obligation to talk to these guys at all. You have ID. <laughs> I get your name. I gotta get ID. I gotta get ID. Can I get your name, sir? Your last name? Last name? You need to answer me, though. At that point, you do need to answer. Me. That's a threat. That's a threat. When a man with a gun with perceived authority tells you you need to ID, it compels people to go, oh, "Okay, I'll give you my ID because I don't want to get in trouble." They know that's the natural human reaction to authority. I mean. Your, your heart rate is elevated already. Your adrenal glands have already pumped tons of adrenaline to your bloodstream. You're already on a heightened sense of, you know, what's going to happen here because basically my life hangs in the balance as these law enforcers continue to interact with me. And now they're issuing threats. You need to, you need to talk to me when they say that it's like, if you don't do what I tell you, you need to do, you're going to be in trouble and trouble usually means torture cuffs back of the car, possibly hot boxed, fingerprinted, and thrown into a, you know, a RAPE cage. Okay. That's all I'm asking is for your ID. That's not all he's asking. And you do need to answer that part. We're trying to figure out who you are, what's going on, what's, what's his point. Yes, I'm going to fast forward where the military guys get involved. You know, you know what I like about this? <clears throat> not just that Bunny Boots invokes his right to be silent. N not just that that's powerful, but I like his camera work. He must have some kind of, he's not operating from like a regular smartphone because he's got some, some pretty serious zoom features right there, right here. I don't know what kind of video camera it is. Maybe it's a handy cam. But I see a major benefit to having a camera that you can zoom in 20, 30, maybe even 60 times. I mean, there's some of those digital zooms that'll go over 100, maybe 200 times. And with image stabilization, it can be very beneficial to find out what people are doing from 200 yards away. Steve Sanders says, yeah, I was the guy who was arrested for the ritualistic shame muzzle policy on social security property. That's how I became an activist. And thank you for doing a story. Yeah. This is one of those things where the, the people who put more converts on the side of individual liberties and, you know, so-called constitutionally protected rights and start pushing back against the tides of tyranny are the people who got messed with just a little bit too much. They realized, Hey, I was for a limited government, but now the limited go government that I said I was for, they crossed the line and they jeopardized my life and my freedom. And I am sick of it. That's, that's usually what starts the, uh, the activist road and their journey. Here comes, here comes the military men who also swore to protect and defend individual rights of Americans. Let's see what they do. Oh, they're drunk with power. Well, at least he only stayed there 15 seconds. That was good. All right, there's there's one more. There's one more. There's one more that I was looking at. Where is it? Oh man, I don't I don't have it. That's Steve right there. That right there is Steve Sanders. 
There was another one that Bunny put out that I really wanted to do. Let's see, 54 minutes. All right, guys, I tell you what, I have a whole lot more to do. If you want to come back for another live stream, I want to keep this live stream short. Let's keep it under an hour because I want people to see it because I think it's got valuable information. If you do two, put a one in the room. Uh, there's 524 likes and 744 people in here right now. If you could do me a favor and hit that like button, it helps me overcome the the algorithms. Thank you to everybody who's just become a member. Thank you for gifting those memberships, Farlap Moves and uh, who else did? William Babbitt. Sorry, I just had a mind, mind uh, altercation there. <laughs> so let's see. <clears throat> oh, and Bill Wrightson. I didn't even realize that. Bill Wrightson gifted 10 Here's the Deal memberships. William Babbitt gifted, Farlap Moves gifted five. William ba uh, Babbitt gifted five memberships. Farlaps did another five. Kimberly Kaler became a new member. Bill Wrightson became a new member and then turned around and gave 10 memberships. And Farlap Moves gifted another five memberships and Steve Sanders gave two super chats. I really appreciate the, the support, guys. Look, if you can't support channels like this uh, monetarily, then don't. Do not do it. If you're taking food off your kid's table to go, you know, gift, just don't do it. But one thing you can do for free, and that's give this video a like, share it with everybody you know, and maybe become an activist yourself. Because the more people we get out there with video cameras, the more transparency we can put on people who believe that they have the right to rule you. And maybe we can be, and be, you know, I think it's, I think it goes a long way to be respectful to these people. They have fragile egos anyway. We know it. There's no sense in pushing any kind of buttons. Be a kind person, be the change you want to see in the world. But, you know, don't take crap off these people. Don't, don't, don't relinquish your rights. Realize that you have the power and one of the most powerful things you can do is nothing. Don't say anything. Invoke your right to be silent and then just be silent. Oh yeah, that it was this one right here. Maybe I'll do this one in another video. It was this video right here. This video right here got creepy because I don't know if you guys can see it because this guy in the plaid shirt with the sweater on or the jacket on, he started chasing or following bunny boots even through the woods, cross the street, through the woods to grandmother's house. We go and the whole works really, really crazy. If you did the same thing that these guys did, harassing, intimidating, threatening, you and I would be placed in a cage and rightly so, because we should be removed from society for harassing and threatening people. So that's bunny boots. Let me give you the, here's the link to bunny boots. If you visit him, let him know. Uh, here's the deal sent you. I almost said high impact flicks. Tell them here's the deal sent you. And, uh, you know, maybe we can build an even stronger first amendment auditing community guys. Thank you for joining. If you want to support the channel, do the links are in the description. I'll keep the links to bunny boots, rogue nation, and everybody that I mentioned in this video. And also Steve Sanders, that'll be under this video so that you can grab it. You can visit them and Oh yeah. I, I said, I would, I would refresh this before we left. Let's go ahead and refresh Steve Sanders. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So he's got three. So he gained another hundred subscribers. It looks like, thank you guys. Maybe we can get him up to 4,000 by the end of the day or the end of the day tomorrow. Guys, I appreciate it. Remember, the price of freedom is now and will always be eternal vigilance. And indifference to this notion is the means by which the people have and will secure their own oppression. I will probably do another live stream. If you want to, I'll leave the chat open for 10 minutes. Put a put a one in the room if you want me to do another live stream in about an hour or so. And um, I'll put that up and we'll enjoy some more, some more of these videos together. I get a lot out of reading your comments in the comment section. If I can, there's 665 people in here. I'll leave it open for 10 minutes. If, if I can get, uh, I don't know, 100 people with a one, I'll do another live stream. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next live stream.